I am always impressed by trees. The tree is, has always been, for me, the best gathering space. First, it is natural and it protects, but it's not closing you off. Everyone is invited to join this gathering, to join the shadow under the canopy. The architecture emerged from the need to create space the community can use, to create a space of encounter where people can accidentally meet and start to talk. Francis came to Tiberi's in 2017. That was the very beginning of the relationship between Peter and Kathy and Francis and the Art Center. A lot of time was spent just talking and understanding each other and what people are passionate about. And the design began to materialize from those conversations. In my culture, being together, talking to each other, listening to each other is part of the culture. That is what I feel like is my job, to make happen the vision for the community. Both Francis and I were really inspired by this amazing landscape. The purpose of the pavilion is to have a place for the visitors to relax and gather, but also to contemplate the landscape in, in solitude and to meditate. We wanted to intervene in a very subtle and gentle way so that not to impose this uh, pavilion, but rather to nestle it in the landscape. The best way to do this was to have this very pure shape. The pavilion is a perfect circle in plan. From these ideas, we have defined them with the team here. We were all on the same page so quickly. We got to talk a lot about if we wanted to make any changes that would make construction a lot easier or to meet code here. And then it was my job to add the physical reality. Can this be constructed? The most fun part was figuring out how on earth we were going to do it, because it's like a giant puzzle. You can't go on the internet and you can't call, call a friend up and say, hey, how'd you do this? Because nobody's done it before. The architect starts from a dream, an idea that is a utopia, and then has to make it realities. You have these very heavy logs that are kind of flying over your head, and then there is reality. Everyone knew to have that much suspended wood in the air needed a really solid structure. There's a lot of care and attention that was put into deciding what types of materials to use and the environmental sustainability of our construction and our development. Francis was interested in using ponderosa pine and lodgepole pine. The wood that was used for xylem was all standing dead, devastated by the mountain pine beetle all across the western United States. So we're really using a waste product that would have gone to a paper mill, so we're pretty happy about that, especially considering we used 40,000 linear feet of log to, to build xylem. Once we developed the system, it was really just peel logs, cut logs to length, bring logs in, put them on a circle and screw them together, and do that over and over and over and over. We used probably 500 screws per hexagon, and then it was done, except for the carving. The top of the roof of Xylem is not flat, so we had to come up with a system of how to relay that information onto the wood After we were done with that, the team would come back and sand it. And then we could actually take it out of the shop. It was nice to see that for us, but also for the local team here, this wasn't an obstacle, something that we would never make, but a challenge. And they all faced it with enthusiasm. We really worked together to figure everything out. During the design phase, a lot of attention was put into making things modular. We decided that we could size the hexagons to fit on a tractor trailer. 
is to get from here to Montana. Nobody actually had a concept of what it was going to look like until we started to install it. When we showed up to do the first install of the roof system, it snowed on us in, in May. When we got to site, all we had to do was pick the, pick the hexagon up with the wood attached and drop it into place. The only thing we found is that if you have a steel framework that's very, very rigid and you have logs that are very organic in shape and that sometimes are fatter on the bottom than they are in the top, that we had to start massaging the wood into the steel superstructure. We wanted to let people discover that it's about construction, it's about structure, it's about wood and how you put them together and not just to, to come and try to hide everything. No, we wanted it to be like this landscape. It's not lying you. If the rain is coming, it's coming. It's just nature. We wanted it to be true and honest. How do we want the sculpture to be experienced by the visitor? How do we want it to grow with the landscape? As the visitor will be approaching the site, what is important to be seeing. 95 aspen and cottonwood were planted around the structure. Creating this forest was one way the visitor has this interesting interaction just as they approach the space. We want to push the idea of mystery. So like a, a secret that you really looking forward to discover. When you come to Tipper Rise, the whole experience of being here is one of exploration and discovery. As the sculptures have been installed throughout the landscape, the element of exploration has been at the heart of those decisions. We want the visitor to feel like he visits the most intimate part of nature. Xylem is the heart of the tree is the most vital part of the tree because it brings minerals and water from the roots to the leaves. With the name Xylem, we wanted to underline the importance of the tree as a living being. In each little log are the tree rings. So every tree contains years of lives that are recorded. So it's the history of a forest in here. We become part of the tree when we're sitting in between the trunk and the canopy, and the xylem flows through us. It makes us feel more in touch with the earth, in touch with ourselves, in touch with each other in a very open way. There's something about the creation of this space that brings us deeper into both nature and realizing that nature is attached to us in some way. I feel totally enclosed in the nature, but not closed off. You know, to imagine a place where the people can migrate from visiting this wonderful landscape and then come back and to reflect the day together, you know, to create and build a community. We feel connected to nature and then to each other.